what's up y'all it's your girl chill dark goddess and today i'm coming at you guys with a video yes i'm gonna discuss some topics and happy new year to y'all yay i'm so happy and so excited that it is the year 2020 is also a brand new decade so what what do y'all have planned do you guys make any uh new year's resolutions or anything like that so yeah it is the year 2020 i thought we were gonna have flying cars and everything like that but you know maybe in the next uh 10 years and maybe in the next decade but yeah if you guys have your new year's resolutions uh leave them down in the comment section below i would love to hear what you guys have planned to have in store for the new year the new decade oh my gosh it's 2020 y'all like what so i want to say if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet please click the subscribe button so you won't miss anything from me so i was like i already did my makeup and everything like that so i said you know what while my makeup is done While my makeup and everything is done, let me do a video or two. Yes. So I do have some couple. So I have I have a couple topics that you know I have in mind that I want to talk about. You guys, like my necklace. I actually I got this necklace last year. I got it from Boohoo. Got this necklace last year from Boohoo. I also got this dress. Last year from Boohoo also. I don't have any New Year's resolutions per se. But what I will say is. Is that. This year. And continuing on. I'll be working on my health. Number one. Because you know. Last summer I had lost all that weight. And then I gained it right back. So I will be working on my health. I'll be working on new business ventures that i want to start i'm just go ahead and start it you know there's no holding back there's no holds barred and you know what if y'all have any talents or if y'all have any businesses that y'all want to start 2020 is the perfect year to do it it's the perfect decade to do it 2020 reduces to the number 22 which is a master number and the number 22 stands for it's basically telling you now is the time to follow your dreams so if you know, you see the number 22, follow your dreams. This, this, this is the year 2020, like I said, which reduces to 22. So this is definitely the year to get things going on your business, whatever plans, whatever ideas you got, whatever creativity that you have. Get it on and pop it and just bust out there and don't be afraid. And that's what I am going to do. Okay, I already got something in the midst working and it's going to be on and pop in 2020 is the year for the entrepreneur for the mover and the shaker for the person that's not afraid to live life so get your life on and popping okay boo boo things we are taking into 2020 we're not going to talk about what we gonna leave behind because what we talk about what we're going to bring in automatically is going to let you know what you're going to be leaving behind you know, lead it back in 2019, which was an hour ago, okay? Okay, so things that we're taking into 2020 is healthy relationships, whether it be family, personal, or friendships, even business ships. You see what I'm saying? Um, I believe that 2019, for me personally, 2019 was a year for spiritual growth it was a time for me for self-love it was a time for me for setting boundaries it was a time for me to put plans into action so that when 2020 come i will be able to reap the fruits of my benefits no reap the fruits of my labors excuse me i meant to say reap the fruits of my labors so look at 2020 as that look at 2020 as um the year that you 
only allow those around you who will be an asset to you not just on some money monetary thing I'm not talking about that I'm talking about emotionally um, spiritually people that you can learn things from like deal with those type of people in 2020 people that you know add value and love and peace and harmony to your life don't deal with um, you know toxic people if you were dealing with toxic people in 2019 leave them in 2019 you know this is a new way of thinking the shift has happened so you know people are coming out of the 3d and they going into you know higher dimensions of thinking and that's where you want to be too so don't get left behind in 2019 with those same old thinking patterns same old ways same old behaviors it's time for you to level up if you haven't leveled up yet it's time to level up honey okay it's about that time so yes we're taking healthy relationships into the year 2019 another thing we take into 2019 is self love okay self love self love will do some good like i said that's a part of setting boundaries and you know dealing with healthy relationships anything that's unhealthy for you anything that's going against you being loyal to yourself anything that's going to make you unhappy anything that's you know not conducive to your growth spiritually mentally emotionally don't deal with it okay don't deal with it 2020 is that year that you gonna be that mm, itch or that h-n-i-c okay or that h-b-i-c okay so yeah 2020 self-love it's all about self-love um you know, and I'm not and I'm not saying self love means you be an asshole to people. Self love just means that you make sure people know that you're not gonna tolerate them treating you like an asshole. You're not gonna tolerate that. And you'll walk away with no problem, with no with no feelings, with no, you know, no hard feelings, but I'm not dealing with that in my life. I'm not dealing with that. And it's okay to say no. So we're dealing with self-love in 2020. We're also dealing with financial responsibility, okay? If you have bad credit, get your credit in order. Get your credit in order. Um, like I said, this is going to be the year of the entrepreneur. So you might want to do something like take out a business loan or you might want to go in with a partner or something like that. Or you just might want to like, I don't know, get a house, buy a car. All those things take good credit. You know, um, having good credit is very important for your growing up life. Actually, today somebody wanted to, somebody that I know wanted to get a car and their credit was, they had a low credit score. And they had to borrow some money from somebody. But what if that person didn't have that money to borrow from? They wouldn't have been able to get that car. So make sure your credit is intact. Um, make sure you talk to your children about the importance of having good credit and maintaining good credit and building good credit and having a healthy relationship with money. You know, start your children saving early so they'll know the importance of saving and, you know, to be responsible and stuff. So when they become an adult, it won't be so hard for them when they're trying to save because they started saving when they were younger. So financial responsi financial responsibility, that's what we're doing in the year 2020. Um, like I said, being an entrepreneur. Make your own money. Be your own boss. Aren't you tired of getting up, going to work every single day for somebody to tell you how much you're worth? So all of my people out there who got entrepreneur at heart and you want to jump out and do that business, go ahead and get your business started. I'm not saying quit your job right now. But what I am saying is, is that take the time and some determination and some um, discipline to start your job. Maybe don't go out every Saturday night. Maybe stay in on a Saturday night on the weekend and put your business plan together um, instead of, you know, buying 
that mocha latte or whatever from Starbucks or going out to eat every single night or buying dinner out every single night. How about meal prepping? That's how you can save money. How about, you know, making coffee at home? That's how you can save money. So, it's different ways for you to save money so you can, you know, you can, so you can start your business and everything like that. Like, you know, start small. I got my little sparkling cider right here. So, I didn't even give a drink to y'all, but Happy New Year. Got my little sparkle cider. <laughs> it's a uh, apple grape sparkling cider. So yeah, work on being an entrepreneur. Another one is um, being okay with being single, and that goes with self love. Um, you don't have to bring in a new year with a boo. If you don't have a boo, that's cool too. Um, <sighs> relationships are not the end all be all to life and of course everyone you know they want a relationship people don't want to um be alone per se i mean you have those people who feel alone without a partner but my suggest to you is if you don't have someone and you're single don't be desperate don't be desperate and just deal with someone because you want the attention or because you know you want somebody to lay next to at night you know enjoy the company that you have with yourself get to know yourself take yourself out on some dates buy yourself some flowers you know do things with yourself spend time alone meditate Get to really know yourself while you're single at this time. I promise you the person that you are supposed to be with will come along at least when you expect it. Just stay patient. You know, if you're dealing with anybody like an ex or anything like that and you're not really happy, stop dealing with that ex. Take some time for you to heal. And then after you heal, get some standards and set some boundaries because I do believe that you know um us as human beings we take more than we should take from other people just because we don't want to make a person upset or we're gonna or we want to um please people and the person that you should be pleasing ultimately number one is yourself so if you don't have a boo right now and you really want one work on yourself love yourself i promise your boo will come to you when you least expect it like they really will i'm celibate i ain't saying you gotta be celibate like me all i'm saying is, is that don't rush into something just because you're you know you're feeling lonely don't do that um what we're also taking into 2020 is healthy mental states. Now, I know that some people do deal with um, mental instabilities. Some people deal with emotional emotional instabilities. And um, I suggest that if you do have those type of problems and you're not seeking the help or getting the help, that you get the help that you need. Um, therapy is very important. And um, still in the black community, there is a stigma on um, getting help for mental health issues. There's still a stigma so bad that, you know, people who do have these health issues, they are in denial of their health issues. Or people are in denial that their family members have help, um, mental health issues that they need help with. And they don't get the help for it. They try to self-medicate. And, you know, you can only get so far with that. So... If you need to talk to somebody, if you need to go see a therapist, a psychiatrist, and, you know, get evaluated and get on some medication, and you, like, really need the medication to function in life, you know, do that. They have options and they have new medications where you don't have to take so many pills and stuff like that. Medication is not the end all be all, but it is a part of therapy. 
So my suggestion to you is that if you're suffering from a mental illness or if you feel like, you know, things are rolling out of control in your life and you do need someone to talk to, make an appointment with a therapist or make an appointment with a psychiatrist. Do not let those things get out of hand. Do not let them get out of hand. You know, take care of your mental health. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health. And the last thing we're going to talk about is being stronger in spirituality. Okay, your spirituality also has, you know, your spirituality also plays a part with your mental, um, your mental stability also. So, um, things like meditation help with anxiety. It helps quiet the mind so you can concentrate on one task at a time. If you have a hard time quieting your thoughts, meditation is perfect. You can start off with five minutes every single day. And then you can work your way up to 10 minutes, then 15 minutes, then 20, then 30, then a whole hour. And you'll be surprised at how fast um, you'll progress if you're diligent and consistent with your meditation. That definitely will help with um, quieting the mind. Um, like I said, ADHD, anxiety, it will definitely help with that. If you feel like you call to be a wizard, if you feel like you're called to be a bruja, if you feel like you're called to um, be a healer, you know, find some information on that. Start studying, start getting information on how to uh, become stronger, more proficient, and self sufficient in your spirituality and your magic work. That's what you want to do. You want to practice spells if you want to do magic. Um, you want to practice the art of Reiki. You might want to take some classes for Reiki healing. If that's what you want to do. If you uh, feel like you want to heal people. So that was just my, my little short video. My little two cents. You know, what we, going, what, we, what we doing in 2020. What we bringing, you know, into the new year. This is so exciting. Like... Yo, I am so grateful, okay? I'm so grateful to be alive. I am so grateful that I have my spirituality and I'm getting stronger in it. Um, I'm just really, really happy. And I show gratitude every day. Another thing that you want to bring into 2020 is gratitude. You could be going through so much hell. You could be going through so much. But I guarantee you, there is someone else going through something worse than you and that's not to take away from what you're going through but be grateful and have gratitude for the things that you have in your life because one day you could wake up and you could be blind one day you could wake up and you can't talk anymore one day you could wake up and you're in a coma or one day you don't have to wake up at all so every day that you do wake up be grateful, give thanks. Just have great great gratefulness. Just just be grateful that you're alive. Cause some people don't wake up the next day. You know? Be grateful for the people that you have in your life that love and care about you. Be grateful for being able to taste food. Because that's a beautiful thing. I love food. If I couldn't taste food, I'd be so damn sad. I'd be so sad if I couldn't taste food. So think about the little small things that you take for granted every day. And be grateful for that. Okay, guys? So that was just my video for what are we doing and what are we taking into the year 2020. If you would like to see more videos from me, please click that subscribe button. Turn your notification so you know each and every time I upload a video. And that's about it. This is your girl, Triple Dark Goddess, signing out. Peace.